Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this file was posted on Facebook, and I'm not, uh, I redid the file, and I sent it to her, it's a um, SVG file, and she was wanting to verify whether it was raster and vector, and whether it cut out, uh, and she later said she does have Corel Draw, so I thought I'd just show her, it is, it has a, so I've got a yellow box, and it's got a white background, so it's not going to work. Well, it will. It'll lightly engrave this white, or at least it will in mine. So I've got these separated. I've got my nudge factor set on, or my nudge distance set on two inches. So I'm going to take this circle, and I'm going to move it up two inches, and you can see it's all white. So you would need to left click, no feel, move this up the two inches, left click, no feel. You can take both these and see it's, it's set at 30 points, which might, you know, be a hairline, but I'm going to set it to hairline in red. Then I know it's going to cut out. Now she's got a lot of white background in, in the bears and in the words. So the fastest way I would know to do this would be to just zoom in take your pick tool, click on your black, and move it. Well, didn't work. We need to go to a range and ungroup it. Then you need to get off your page, get on the bears, and move it up two inches. Get on that bear, move it up two inches. Now we're going to need to zoom in a little bit on this. So there's a part of the bear we need to move up. The W, the O's. And see, it's leaving away. It's leaving the white away. It's leaving the white there. I just want to make sure that is. So you're just clicking on the text. Every bit of the black. It's a pretty cool little logo. I don't really know if I'm helping her, but since I played with it, I thought I'll make a video. And there you go. It's going to be a better logo because it's not doesn't have any white background. And then Control G and group this together, and see you've got all this fill that would engrave. So we'll group this one together and get out of the way, and we'll get off our page and we'll get all this white and grab it and delete it. So now she just needs to delete all those other ones. And and copy and paste them across their page. But I would do a test first. You know, I would do one, make sure it's right. Uh, I don't know, it's evidently a woodworker and that's a quarter inch hole. That's a pretty big hole, but she does have it spaced off correctly. So the wood won't break. But this would be a neat little logo. Hope that helped her a little bit, maybe. And thank you for watching.